Hello YouTube. In today's episode of What's Inside, let's take a look at something different. This time, it's not a fully electronic device, but instead, this time, we got an electromechanical device. What this thing really is, this is a mechanical timer switch. Yes, this is a pretty digital era thing, I think. I got this thing from an old microwave oven which was lying around and you know I salvaged it for parts like the high voltage capacitor and things like that I'm doing some projects with this uh, and I will show you that in another video so I decided to salvage that old microwave that I have no use with and I trashed pretty much everything that I don't need and saved some of the bits and pieces like this thing right here. So what this thing actually does, this is the thing that actually controls your microwave. When it times up, it, this thing turns off. Your microwave will be turned off by this thing. And when the act proper temperature is set, it's again the temperature thermostat will be controlled by this thing and everything is basically this thing is what starts and stops your microwave and it does it with the help of this AC synchronous motor which I have already taken out this was supposed to be inside that cavity right there yeah this wheels will go on that hole right there and it was supposed to sit inside like that I'll show you how it actually looks like so let's take a look at the ratings the contacts which are these connections right here are rated for around 8 amps at 250 volts AC and this motor this is something different this is not your regular DC motor that runs on pretty much any DC source like batteries or something this thing is a synchronous motor and it's also an AC synchronous motor so it needs proper AC signal to make this motor run and I can pretty much show you that this is a, a new 9 volt battery and if I touch it nothing is happening and touch the other way around and you can be able to see some little bit of motion there but that's it no real rotation and that's because this thing is uh, running on AC voltage I'm sorry my battery got died while recording and now I'm connected to the wall charger so I have actually a couple of these AC synchronous motors right here this is also salvaged from a microwave the same microwave so I will show you how to turn how to make this thing run in another video but not this time so basically how it operates is that there are two dials for this thing and as you can see one over here and the other one was supposed to be here this thing turns uh, some gears inside which in turn determines for how long your food will get cooked and this is the knob that adjusts the time delay and the bottom one is actually used to adjust the temperature in my case it has a knob sitting beneath it and when that is turned another gear wheel is rotated and that in turn makes this thing spin like that which sets the temperature I think because I don't see any thermostat or thermal detection uh, thermal sensors uh, uh, inside this thing I guess I just I'm just guessing that's the way this thing works but I can remember that the front dial says this is the temperature and this thing is the timer so the use of this motor inside this mechanism is for resetting this timer switch back to the initial position you may have seen such kind of norms where once you have set it to a present uh, amount of time it then runs back to zero automatically sometimes you you'll be able to see that in microwaves and sometimes you'll be able to see that in the washing machines also everything that has some sort of similar mechanism uses something like this a synchronous motor will be there to
to and there will be a lot of reduction gears which controls this fast motion of this motor to a much more slow motion just enough to make this thing reset to zero and now let's take a look at what's inside this thing and I'm, I have already opened this thing before and you can expect being an electromechanical device there's going to be nothing electronic inside so it's so everything is going to be controlled with full gears, springs and everything mechanical so I'm just taking out the top bell portion here this is the thing that makes sound when this hammer hits it and it, I think some of the people will be familiar with the sound it makes that ding sound ever heard that before from the kitchen that's this thing making it so this screw is pretty much dead it's no use and there is only one snap and that's it okay so it's making too much noise now let's take a look at what's inside that's it this temperature knob has a gear over there which controls a lot of gears inside this thing this is spring here and you can see the contacts you can see how everything is connected and that's how the timer works when you set it to some certain time amount of time this thing makes contact notice here this thing makes contact and which will operate your microwave everything the food gets cooked properly once the time is up that's when the motor runs and the gears this there's a notch here I think you can be able to see that, that notch and that notch is not in connection with that I mean when this part is not inside this groove here it pretty much makes this connection like that and once the once this latch falls into this groove right here it pre pretty much disconnects the microwave from the uh, AC voltage applied across these two terminals making the microwave stop so this is the easiest way to actually start and stop your microwave and I don't know how this thing operates because I tried so many methods to actually make that thing uh, do something but that was like stuck there you can actually make, the, make that thing open by doing so but it's not staying there but that's pretty much in this if I can show you that this way once the time is set this lock falls into that groove which releases the contact between these two pins and when once this thing was not in the groove which gets so hard but anyways you get the point once it is not inside that groove the other portion will force it to touch like that which will make your microwave run back again so I hope you guys have got an idea about how these old fashioned timer technology worked not any digital rubbish and we forgot to talk about the company that made it it's made by that company right there spell it the way you want and the motor is rated for AC 30 volts and the contacts are rated for 8 amps at 250 volts AC so the motor was supposed to sit inside the groove okay, much like that the motor was supposed to sit inside like that so that's it for today's video I hope you got an idea about how this thing work, worked so if you like this video then give it a thumbs up if you don't like it feel free to use the dislike button and tell me in the comments why you didn't like this video because that's the only way I can improve myself in this kind of thing you know anyway thanks for watching see you in another video